There is no doubt that the Mercedes Vito is prestigious even considering its age, but most buyers are also concerned about the issue of its reliability. Is it worth doubting this important quality when buying this Mercedes? The successor, the second generation Vito, as before, is presented in three versions, cargo, cargo passenger, and passenger. The most prestigious modification of the luxury class has received a new name, Viano. It should be noted that the current generation of minibuses is structurally significantly different from its predecessors. The front-wheel drive transmission has been replaced by a rear-wheel drive one, the transverse engine arrangement has been replaced by a longitudinal one, and the range of modifications has been supplemented with long wheelbase versions and several roof height options. The engine range includes one 3.2-liter V6 petrol unit with a capacity of 190 or 218 horsepower, and two turbo diesels, CDI 2.0L, 88 or 109 horsepower, and 2.2L, 150 horsepower. A choice of six-speed mechanics and five-speed automatic. Unlike its main competitors, the Mercedes Vito minibus is presented in one version, with a standard roof and wheelbase while the classmates also have long base versions, as well as several roof height options. You can choose only a modification, cargo, cargo passenger, or passenger. The first, with a carrying capacity of about 900 kilograms, is devoid of seats and windows. The cargo passenger versions have glazing around the perimeter of the body, trim and one or two rows of seats in the rear, but there are no partitions separating the cabin and the cargo compartment. Chairs can be dismantled or deployed against the direction of travel. The back door can be hinged or lifting. Passenger versions, depending on the version, can take up to seven people. They have more comfort, noise and vibration isolation, high-quality lining, a separate air conditioning system for passengers, armrests for all seats, airbags, power windows and mirrors, and more. V-Class is the most expensive and prestigious version of the Vito. Its luxurious interior allows for many transformations, and the list of basic equipment is wide. Many Vitos are converted from trucks, their customs clearance is much cheaper, and the price of the cars themselves is less. In Ukraine, there are a number of companies specializing in such re-equipment. It is necessary to ensure that all alterations are officially certified. It happened that in case of accidents the seats were torn off, somehow screwed to the floor with self-dapping screws. Many owners praise Vito slash V-Class for comfort, ease of landing on factory seats, almost easy maneuverability and ease of control. True, you will have to get used to the location of the steering wheel, it is installed too horizontally. Over time, the wiring for connecting the ABS sensors and pad wear becomes unusable, the contacts and the electrical connectors for connecting the rear lights and the rear air suspension pump, if any, are oxidized. On all Vito slash V-Classes, the spare wheel is suspended from the outside under the boot floor. Over time, its mounting bolts rust, and it can be difficult, if not impossible, to remove the spare tire. In addition, one of the bolts is a secret, it is unscrewed only with a branded balloon wrench. Engines. There are more turbo diesel versions on our roads, petrol ones are rare. The worst option of the two petrols is the version with the 2.8 liter engine, 174 horsepower. It is better to refrain from buying it, there are difficulties during repair and maintenance. The fact is that the VR6 power unit and automatic transmission are borrowed from the Volkswagen concern. But many Volkswagen service stations do not undertake to pick up parts, since the Mercedes engine number is stamped on this motor. Mercedes service stations will pick up spare parts, and 1.5 times more expensive than VW, but there are no special programs for diagnosing the unit. In addition, the engine is tightly packed in the engine compartment, which makes it difficult to access it and disrupts its normal temperature regime. At the same time, various sensors, an air flow meter, and fuel injectors often fly. Moisture and sand often get into the attachment drive pulleys, which is why the drive belt and tensioner pulley last only about 30,000 kilometers. The native Mursovsky 2.3 liter engine is preferable, although problems may arise with it. It is necessary to monitor the cleanliness of the drainage channels under the hood. If the ventilation grill under the windshield is clogged, then during precipitation, water overflows through the hood seals, falling on the ABS unit, the blockhead cover and into the candle wells, which disables the electronic unit and individual ignition coils. In these engines, equipped with the PMS injection control system, a failure of its control unit was noted. It is located under the right headlight, and if the drainage hole is dirty, 
it can also be filled with water. In CDI turbo diesels, it is better to dismantle the decorative casing of the head cover to make it easier to monitor the fuel injectors, their sealing rings lose their tightness and the fuel mixture, together with the oil, penetrates outside, the nozzle becomes overgrown with soot, which violates the thermal mode of its operation. Replacing a sticky nozzle is difficult. The sealing cuffs of the fuel lines located on the pump and filter also lose their tightness. The system becomes airy, which manifests itself in difficult starting of the engine and even in refusal to start. With proper operation of the turbine motor, the turbines run throughout its entire service life, 400 to 500,000 kilometers. Other malfunctions of the Vito slash V-Class power units have not been identified. The timing of all engines is equipped with a durable chain. Transmission. Vito slash V-Class, front wheel drive cars. Many are equipped with a five-speed manual gearbox, versions with a four-speed automatic are less common. In the, the mechanics, the cables of the gear shift drive are stretched. The first symptom is difficult reverse gear engagement. The balancer of the switching mechanism also becomes unusable while the gears are not switched on or knocks them out when driving. Treatment of the disease is the replacement of cables and balance. The left axle seal is leaking. As a rule, this indicates wear on the bearings of the differential. The oil in the manual gearbox is changed every 60 to 80,000 kilometers. Problems with the cable shift drive in the automatic occur much less frequently. The lever is not used as often as in the mechanics. More problems with the automatic installed with the VR6 motor. Due to the tight layout, the electronic block of the gear lever position selector is unsuccessfully located. It is installed on the side of the automatic transmission case, and when driving through bumps, the unit, playing on the pillows, can damage the block on the subframe. In addition, the unit is susceptible to moisture and dirt. Suspension. Serviceable, running, energy intensive and provides a good ride even on our roads. Both suspensions are independent, McPherson is used on the Vito in front and a single lever with the suspension strut is used in the rear. The V-Class has an air suspension at the rear, which maintains the set ground clearance regardless of the load and improves the already good ride. However, the pump installed behind the front left wheel breaks down, as it is subject to regular bathing in the water. The air springs themselves also become unusable. These nodes are expensive, it is cheaper to install a conventional spring suspension. In general, the chassis serves for a long time. The stabilizer bushings are changed more often, every 20,000 kilometers. In the original, the consumables of the front suspension are offered along with the levers. The steering is durable too. Problems arise for a run of 200 to 300,000 kilometers. The steering shaft crosspiece begins to wedge. Tie rod ends can last about 100,000 kilometers. In the braking system, disc mechanisms of the front and rear wheels. In the rear calipers, it grabs the guides which leads to accelerated wear of the pads. Preventive caliper maintenance is recommended to avoid problems when changing pads. Conclusion. Mercedes Vito slash V-Class does not pull on the roll of a workhorse. It lacks endurance. In this case, buying a Sprinter is preferable. Vito slash V-Class is better to buy as a universal vehicle for a family or company. However, this prestigious model is not cheap, as is its maintenance. Pros. A wide offer on the market roomy interior comfortable fit on factory seats large traveling trunk volume energy intensive and durable running good maneuverability and ease of control flat floor that allows you to move inside the cabin. Minuses. High market value poor corrosion resistance no long wheelbase modifications and versions with the high roof squeaky plastic lining of the cabin possible problems with electrical wiring and fuel injectors CDI complicated and expensive to maintain units stretch gear shift cables leaking axle shaft seals short life of anthers grenades and air suspension catches caliper guides